I was in uh, Louisiana for three weeks doing research on radio stations that broadcast um, in Louisiana French. And uh, I made a video of stuff that A, arrived in the mail while I was gone, or B, stuff that I mailed to myself because I had too much stuff to bring from Louisiana back to San Diego. But this, I got this too. This came in the mail while I was gone. Shadow of the New Deal. Uh, supposed to be a pretty good book by supposedly a pretty smart guy. Anyway, that's what they tell me. Um, I'm very excited about that. Uh, I'm going to do a review of that for HNET. Anyway, on with the video. Thursday morning, June 15th, I got back from Louisiana two days ago. Uh, this is mail call. This is the stuff that was waiting for me uh, in the mail or that showed up very soon after. I'm actually listening to KVPI right now, waiting for the French news to come on. It comes on at 7.30 in the morning, and I've got the station online. Okay, first up, we have this, The Law of Journalism and Mass Communication. This is a new edition of the book. Uh, I use it for the class that I teach, JMS 494. Okay, I got this. Uh, Daredevil, what is that, issue 103, I bought a single copy of Daredevil, I'm trying to get issues 1 to 300, I do not like buying single issues of Daredevil off eBay or the computer, since I have to pay a lot shipping, I prefer to buy a lot of Daredevils, but I did need this one, and I had it for a good price. Now these are four uh, Italian comic books that I got, um, Thor, and it looks like about the Fantastic Four, Fantastico Quattro. Fantastic Key Quattro. Um, I buy uh, foreign language comic books or non-English language comic books. Um, I really didn't want these, but a guy who I had bought from before contacted me, needed money, and sold me these at a good price. And then this, this is really cool right here. My mom and dad went to France. And while they were there, they were looking for stuff that they knew that I liked, um, looking at antique shops and stuff. Yeah, it is a French 1010. Uh, I think that's very cool. I'm going to put that with my other foreign language comic books. Okay, this is stuff that I mail to myself, media mail. It actually costs only 20 bucks, and it showed up within a matter of days. I'm quite, quite surprised and impressed by that. I just didn't want to put all the stuff in my luggage. Okay, we got Mellow Joy Coffee. Community Coffee is the main coffee in Southern Louisiana, but Mellow Joy is also another brand. So I bought a bunch of coffee. This is a souvenir I bought for myself. It is a sweatshirt from the Best Stop. Come on, we see that, yeah. And then this, this is a really cool old radio. Look, it comes in this wicked cool little case. Look, this nice leather case right here. Um, there's this little radio right here. I collect old radios. Uh, a guy was selling, he was trying to sell this to Pioneer Trading Post, kind of a really cool junk shop, thrift store, collectible shop in Lafayette, Louisiana. So this guy had brought it in, was trying to sell it to the owner. The owner didn't want it, um, and I had some cash left over from buying records. And the amount of cash that I had was pretty much exactly what the guy wanted. So that was a good deal. Okay, now I have some books. This book was given to me, yeah, by a guy named David Markintel. Uh, Marianne Marcotte was a storyteller who recorded records, uh, stories in Cajun French. And these are some stories that Marianne has written. Yeah, David Markintel gave me this. Thank you, David. Very nice. And then I have a bunch of books. You know, I stupidly thought I was going to have time in Louisiana to actually read books and for my research. So these are books that I already owned. Um, this is a really good one right here. And I mailed these to Louisiana so that I could do research. But I ended up just doing, visiting a lot of radio stations, talking to people. I could look at this stuff later. Yeah, this is a really good book, South to Louisiana. This one I didn't have. This is a new one. This is a new book. This guy, Paul Marks, uh, founded radio station KBON, and it's an actually a pretty interesting, looks like a self-published uh, biography. It talks about how he formed the radio station, which plays all Louisiana music. Also got a chapter on UFOs in there. And then, what else? Do I, oh, an apron. I like to barbecue. I like to barbecue. So, a Louisiana Ragin' Cajuns. That's the team from... Uh, University of Louisiana Lafayette. Um, oh, another book, yeah. This one I already owned. It used to be right up there, that bookshelf. I carried it with me to Louisiana, and now I've mailed it back to myself in San Diego. Comic books, okay, I got these. Now, this is really trashed condition. This is crap condition. Uh, but I do like Charlton Comics. Um, I got this at the yeah, Pioneer Trading Post, and then I got this at Pioneer Trading Post. Um, but then the really good thing I got was about, 
Seven? How many of these? I got a couple daredevils. Yeah, I got a couple daredevils. Maybe I'm trying to complete my run. I got these at a place outside Belmont. Okay, this was an impulse buy from Floyd's Record Shop in Ville Platte. Okay, look how big it is. I probably should not have purchased this and mailed it back to myself. Um, I'm going to make an effort. I need to learn a little bit of French, and I want to learn the Cajun French. So I want to make a little effort to learn this. Okay, now we have the records. These two records I purchased uh, directly from the Savoie Music Center. And uh, no, no, sorry. This is, no, these are from Gervis Swallow. Yeah, these were given to me by an 85-year-old man who used to be a musician, uh, Gervis Swallow. And I got him to sign both of them. Yeah, these are the Gervis Swallow records. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he played on KVPI when he was a teenager, radio station I'm doing research on. And he also where are they, gave me these CDs. Um, this stuff, this was recorded in 93 at Fred's Lounge. It's got Belts and Richard, also Gerber Swallow. Um, this is another one recorded, uh, wow. Yeah, Gervis and his son, Lennis Swallow, performing. Does that say Altus Roger? Oh my God. Okay. Uh, this is not commercially released. This was just someone like a home video that Gervis's wife made. Um, so I'm going to put that aside. That's really important stuff. Okay. These records, I got a whole bunch of records I got from Pioneer Trading Post. Um, also, I bought a bunch of records at Floyd's Record Shop in Bill Platt. And that's Jen. I can't go through all these. There's Jen Swallow. Word right here is a generic term of affection. It can even be used for men. Um, and it does not have to be used for a person. It doesn't have to be used only for a black woman. Apparently, it's a term of affection. Uh, can be used for anyone, that term right there. Okay, I, the, I'm pretty sure this stack came from Pioneer Trading Post. Um, just looking for anything from Louisiana, any kind of Louisiana label, mainly gin. I don't know, why did I buy stacks? Why did I buy stacks? Strange things happening in my heart. Put these in sleeves. Um, yeah. Got a lot of stuff here. Uh, it'll cost me about a buck each. Oh, mother-in-law. There you go. A New Orleans, famous New Orleans thing. Another swallow. Now this, these, yeah, okay. Dead giveaway. These are the 45s I got from the Savoy Music Center. Um, and I, famous accordion player, super famous accordion player, now makes the pairs of accordions. Um, Mark Savoy, I got him to, I got him to sign that for me. Two of those. And a nice sticker, nice sticker. Accordion, a factory and home of the Acadian Accordion in Eunice, Louisiana. That's what I got. Oh, and this, this is the extra bonus. My aunt had this. Old T-shirt, New Orleans, Louisiana, LSU. I wore this. Yeah, I did wear this one or two days. In fact, I wore this on the day I did research at the LSU library. Felt very apropos. Yeah, she just had this lying around. I decided to use this packing for my records. And then we have a newspaper, the Acadiana Advocate. What date is that? From Sunday, May 28th. Okay, that's my box of stuff from Louisiana. <laughs> 2023 Ford Ranger in transit, four-wheel drive, crew cab, and new 2023 Ford Expedition Limited, four-wheel drive, avec trailer towing package of 22-inch wheels. VA test and this new vehicle, a parlor and mom, due to the sales team. Tristan Evans, Wesley.